Rimblan, officially the municipality of Rimblan, is a third-class municipality and capital of the province of Rimblan, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 38,758 people. The town comprises the entire Rimblan Island, one of the three major islands of Rimblan province aside from Sibuyan Island and Tablas Island. As the capital of the province, it is also the seat of the provincial government. Its natives mostly speak Romblomanon or any language. Rimblan is known for its local marble industry and is the second biggest producer of the mineral in the country. It has also increasingly become known as a tourist destination because of its unspoiled beaches and Spanish-era twin forts. History Early history The first inhabitants of Rimblan were Negritos tribes of Panay and Mindoro Mangyan tribes. The discovery of hanging coffins and artistic material in caves of the island of Banton demonstrates the existence of a rich and ancient civilization and aboriginal culture. The islands were first visited by Spanish conquistador Martin de Goiti in late 1569, and were thereafter organized by the Spanish into encomiendas. The Encomienda of Donblan, Rimblan, established on April 24, 1571, was granted to Don Gonzalo Raquel. In the first census done by Spanish navigator Miguel de Lorca in 1582, Rimblan Island was shown to have 240 residents engaged in wax gathering. At this time, Miguel de Lorca recorded the island's name as Lomlan or Doblan. In the local Visayan dialect, the word means a bird warming an egg in its nest. It was also known as Domblin before the present name was adopted. In 1631, during the term of Spanish Governor General Juan Nino de Tabora, Rimblan was established as a pueblo, making it one of the two oldest settlements in the province, the other being Banton, located in the north of the province. In 1635, the island of Rimblan was evangelized by Spanish recollect fathers and became a dependency of the Captaincy General of the Philippines. Their fortified church is the present Cathedral of Rimblan. Two forts erected by them, San Andres and Santiago, are now in ruins. It received its first Spanish missionaries in the 17th century. During the 17th and 18th centuries, it was often ravaged by Moros. It was organized into a commandancia, a province or district under military control, by the Spanish in 1853. Modern History in 1901, the American occupation saw the establishment of a civilian government in the town. Ten new barrios were created while three existing barrios were also abolished. These include Aglomium which was merged to Sublayan due to its small population, Embarcacion which was attached again to El Pueblo or Poblacion and the inland barrio of Cogon which was reorganized and split into five barrios of Tambac, Iloran, Macalas, Lamao, and Agbaluto, referred collectively as TIMLA, from its initial letters, while Barrio Alfonso XIII was renamed Calabogo. The ten additional barrios were Bagake, Agbutia, Agtongo, Embarcacion, Maria Cristina, renamed as Sawing, and the five new TIMLA barrios. These barrios aside from TIMLA were Agtongo which was created into a separate barrio in 1916 taken from Cajimos while in 1918 those engaged in maritime industry which were designated separately as distinct barrio known as Embarcacion was annexed again to Barrio Poblacion or El Pueblo in 1939. Agbutia was the last barrio to be created taken from Gimpingan in 1939. Meanwhile, the two barrios Majabangbebe and Sogod, located in Tablas Island, were returned to Badajoz now San Agustin, abolished as independent barrios and attached as sitios of Barrio Gwinpuk and Carmen in 1901. During World War II, an American force landed in the island on March 11, 1945 and liberated it from the occupying Japanese forces. By March 18, the entire province was liberated from the Japanese. A monument located near the beach in Sawing commemorates this event. In 1960, the island barrio of Negoso was renamed Cobrador while in 1975, the urban barangay of Poblacion was split into four separate barangays, named simply as barangays 1, 2, 3, and 4. Geography 
The municipality consists primarily of Rimblan Island, as well as the smaller Alad, Cobrador, and Logbon Islands. The municipality is situated along the coast of Rimblan Bay, a natural harbor and safe haven for ships passing in the area during inclement weather. The highest peak is Mount Lagting in Barangay Sablayan with a height of 444 meters 1,457 feet. Barangays Rimblan is politically subdivided into 31 barangays. Climate Rimblan falls under Type 3 of the Corona Climatic Classification System which was devised in 1920. It is characterized by no pronounced wet and dry seasons. Generally, the wet season is from June to November and sometimes extends up to December when the southwest monsoon is predominant. The dry season is from January to May but is sometimes interrupted by erratic rainfall. The annual mean temperature is 27 degrees Celsius 81 degrees Fahrenheit, with February as the coldest month with temperatures dropping to 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and May as the warmest month with temperatures reaching up to 35 degrees Celsius 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Habagat monsoon winds pass through the province from June to October while northeasterly winds or Amahan blows through the islands from December to February. Demographics Romblomanans are the indigenous inhabitants of Romblon. They are part of the wider Visayan ethnolinguistic group, who constitute the largest Filipino ethnolinguistic group. In 2015, there were 38,758 people living in Romblon. Most Romblomanans speak Ini, one of the three languages in the province after Asi and Anhan. Local government Pursuant to Chapter 2, Title 2, Book 3 of Republic Act 7160 or the Local Government Code of 1991, the municipal government is composed of a mayor, Alcold, a vice mayor, Bais Alcold, and members, Kagawit, of the legislative branch Sangguniang Bayan alongside a secretary to the said legislature, all of which are elected to a three-year term and are eligible to run for three consecutive terms. The incumbent mayor is Mariano M. Mateo and the vice mayor is Mac Mac Silverio. Both are from Nationalista Party. Provincial Government Rimblan is also the capital of Rimblan Province, and as such, the Rimblan Provincial Capital Complex, where the Governor, the Vice Governor, and the Sangguniang Panlalawigan takes office, is situated in the municipality in Barangay Capaclan. The current Governor of Rimblan is Eduardo Fermalo of the Liberal Party. Economy Rimblan's economy relies much on the local marble industry. Marble is the most significant mineral deposit of Rimblan and is the most renowned product of the province. The province is the second biggest provincial marble producer of the country next to Bulacan. Rimblan marble is a very high quality and comes in shades of white, green, pink, red and black. The Mines and Geosciences Bureau has estimated that Rimblan is endowed with about 150 million metric tons of marble. At current rates of extraction, the supply may last for three more centuries. Tablas Island is also believed to have vast reserves of marble. Marble quarrying and processing are major activities in Rimblan. Among the most common marble products are categorized into the following, novelty items, gifts, ashtray, table bars, furniture, dining tables, baptismal fonts, and construction materials, tiles, balusters, marble chips. Aside from marble quarrying and processing, tourism, fishing and coconut farming are also basic livelihood sources in the island. Transportation By sea The main transportation link to Rimblan is through Roro vessels. Currently, there are Roro vessels from Montenegro Lines, 2GO Travel, Navios Shipping Lines and Starhorse Shipping that dock in the town weekly from the port of Batangas and Lucina. Travel time usually takes about 6 to 7 hours. Roro vessels also travel directly from Batangas to Rimblan's largest town Odiangan and from there, travelers can ride a jeepney to the port of San Agustin where they can catch a ferry or motorized outrigger boat to Rimblan. By air. 
The closest airport with active airline service is Tugden Airport in the town of Alcantara in the neighboring island of Tablas. Currently, only Cebu Pacific has flights to the airport, with four flights weekly from Manila. From Alcantara, Rimblan can be reached in three to four hours by jeepney and an hour by motorized boats or 40 minutes by ferry from San Agustin. Going around the island municipality is connected through the circumferential Rimblan Cogon Sablayan Road as well as through a network of shorter roads. Modes of transportation available throughout the island include jeepneys, tricycles, cycle rickshaws locally known as pedicabs, and motorcycle taxis locally known as Havel Havel. Tourism The capital town of Rimblan is rich political and religious history as well as natural beauty. Some of the places worth visiting in the municipality include St. Joseph's Cathedral and Belfry, one of the oldest Roman Catholic Church is located in Barrio Poblacion. It was constructed for the Recollect Fathers between 1640 and 1726 by talented local artisans using coral blocks and bricks. Fuente de Belén, located across the Municipal Hall, Fuente de Belén is a water fountain erected in 1864 by Eduardo Asuero. It is the source of fresh water for Rimblan during the Spanish colonial period. Atop the fountain is an image of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Old municipal building, built out of coral limestone during the Spanish colonial era, it housed the cuartel or headquarters of the local Guardia Civil. Retaining the old architecture of the building, the municipal hall is still used to house government offices and the municipal jail. Bishop's Palace or Villa del Mar, located in Barangay Lonos, it serves as the official residence of the Bishop of Rimblan. It was constructed out of clay bricks by the first Bishop of Rimblan, Monsignor. Nicolas Mondahart Talapasic Beach Resort, it is located 13 kilometers from town in Barangay Ginablan and offers a quiet and restful place for tourists. Activities include swimming, snorkeling, beach combing, and island hopping. Tiamban Beach, located some 5 kilometers from the town proper, this fine white sand beach in Barangay Lono stretches to about 250 meters. Fort San Andres and Santiago, twin Spanish forts constructed out of coral blocks and bricks between 1644 and 1573, which overlook the whole town and harbor at 156 feet above sea level. These served as a bastion to protect the people against Muslim raiders and Dutch pirates. Marble Beach Resort, located in Barangay Ginablan, it is a perfect spot for nature lovers. Bonbon Beach, located 5 kilometers away from town proper this shoreline in Barangay Lonos is covered with fine white sand and features a gradually sloping ocean floor free of sea grass and sharp stones. Simbahan Cave, located in Barangay Cobrador, it is the largest natural cave in the islands and believed to be an ancient burial ground as manifested by pottery and ancient works of arts found inside. Cobrador Beach, Barangay Cobrador's treasure is its beaches. This is located in the eastern side of the islet and has fine white sand and crushed corals. Rimblan Harbor, it offers a perfect shelter for sea vessels since Spanish colonial period. Lying off the bay is a sunken galleon and the wreck of a Japanese battleship. Marble quarries and factories, anyone interested in how Rimblan marble is made can take a tricycle from the town proper to the marble quarries and factories. Rimblan's marble can be compared to Italy's Carrara. It comes in a spectrum of shades ranging from white to black with a gamut of in-between tints like mottled white, tiger white, onyx and jade. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Tourist Attractions, Rimblan, Rimblan Provincial Government of Rimblan Website. Retrieved on 1 April 2013 Rimblan Island at OpenStreetMap